All right, guys, this is something I want to talk to you about. This is an exercise that I discovered by accident. I guarantee you nobody's talking about this. Um, this is something I kind of discovered on accident, and it has to do with working out you know, a weak, lagging body part. Okay, so anytime you're having a weak, lagging body part, you may want to work that body part twice a week. Not the same exercise, though. You want to do different movements and exercises but work that same muscle twice a week. So let's just say your bicep muscles are your weak, lagging body part. Well, this is something I kind of discovered on accident, and I want to show you what I do when I do upper chest. But what happened was I noticed that my biceps were becoming very tense at the end of the exercise. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate this for you, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, guys, so this was the exercise that I was doing right here, as you see. I was doing upper chest flies. Uh, this is great for working the upper chest, but what I noticed is is after doing 15 reps and about four rounds I noticed that my biceps got really really tense and I had this awesome pump um, so it just kind of gave me an idea that if I want to increase my biceps to go ahead and implement this exercise that you're gonna see next okay so right here as I'm doing my chest flies I come up and then do a bicep exercise so if you have a weak and lagging body part let's say it's your biceps this is what I used to do on my chest days to increase the size of my biceps it works phenomenal. Um, it, it works my upper chest, it's working my biceps. Um, so this is something that I don't think I've seen anybody do. Um, they're either doing one or the other. So I just want to tell you guys to go ahead and try this. Try doing the upper chest exercise, okay? And then see if your biceps feel really, really tense after doing it. But you're probably gonna have to do 15 reps to feel that pump in your biceps. So now we're just going to go ahead and just, you know, show you the other angle of doing this exercise. So what you want to do is come all the way up and then do a bicep exercise. You want to keep your, your body straight, don't lean forward, don't start swinging your arms back and forth because um, one thing I've learned is, is if you swing your arms while you're doing a bicep exercise, you can actually um, start to hurt your shoulder. There's actually a part of the shoulder that's called the bicep tendon. And what happens is, is if you start swaying your arms back and forth through your body, you can actually uh, damage that shoulder bicep tendon. So those are just some few tips I just want to give you for increasing the size of your biceps. And stay tuned for the next time.